Welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day. So we are going to be doing something completely different right now inside of this video. I'm going to ask every one of you a question and I want you all to answer this question in that comment section. So if I was to say to you right now at this moment in time, what are the two worst, the two most useless features inside of COC? What would your answer be? Go down below in that comment section guys, take 10 seconds out of your day. Go down below there and comment the two worst features. Now they can be spells, they can be troops, they can be like the layout features, they can be to do with war, it can be to do with trophies, it can be to do with farming, absolutely anything. Just comment the two worst features that you think are inside of this game. So I'm about to show you the two worst features which I think are inside of this game. Now please remember guys, these are just my opinions. I'm not being mean to Supercell, I'm just, I'm just saying that these two things, they really don't belong in the game anymore and if they do, they definitely need to change. They need a buff because they just don't work at all and I've never seen anyone use them anymore. I mean, one of them hasn't been used for such a long time and it's just kind of sitting there inside of the game. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get ourselves into an attack, guys. And I actually have one of the most pointless features, I believe, inside of my army right now. So if you were to look down at the actual troop composition and spells, which one of those features is just way, way too expensive? Takes too many uh, housing spaces. Yep, you guessed correctly, guys. I am talking about that brand new level 4 maxed out clone spell. It is the most pointless thing inside of the game. It takes four spell placements, which is insane because that's two regular spells and four Dark Elixir spells. And it just doesn't fit in the game game. So I'm going to demonstrate to you guys, this is a Town Hall 11, two single target Inferno Towers. We're using just a standard farming army, a couple of giants, a couple of wizards, a Pekka, a few bowlers and then the spell. So usually I would bring two rage spells, a heal spell and the earthquakes or two rage spells, a free spell and the earthquakes. But because we are bringing that clone spell, it takes two of my normal spell places, as I said, guys. So we're basically already at a massive disadvantage. So check it out. We're going to drop in the earthquake spells near the Eagle Artillery and the Inferno Tower. And then we're going to move in for the attack. Now, typically, if I was using a normal army, not using the clone spell, I would usually do about, I would say I would usually do about 70 to 80% damage to a base like this. But because we are using the clone spell, let me show you how much harder it makes it. The clone spell is meant to benefit your army, but it literally just makes it so negative. It has no beneficial aspect to it at all, guys. So check it out. We're going to go in with the Giants, pop the Grand Warden's ability, make sure that the uh, the Eagle Artillery doesn't do too much damage. So there goes the clone spell. You can see four housing spaces and it clones six maxed out Giants, guys. So it does a total of 30 housing spaces if you do have a maxed out clone spell. They've already pretty much disappeared. The last ones are about to fade away now. So that spell is about to completely go. There it goes, guys. And that costs four spaces. That is insane. Four spaces for a 10 second spell, which basically does absolutely nothing. I would rather have a free spell, just one free spell than that clone spell, guys. And look, we're only up to 46% damage. My army's been absolutely destroyed, guys. 47%. The queen's gone down. The king's gone down. There is literally nothing left. But luckily for me, I decided to bring a couple of archers because I know how bad the clone spell is. And check it out, there are two little buildings down the bottom over here. And the archers are actually going to be able to pick them off, guys. And we're going to get a clutch, an absolutely massive clutch to start on this base. But as I said, yeah, the clone spell, it just completely sucks. So was the clone spell one of your choices? If not, guys, what were your choices? And uh, if you haven't yet commented down below, please feel free to go down in that comment section and let me know what your two choices are. We are about to show you the second one, guys. What is the second most pointless, useless, just underutilized feature inside of this game? Let's get right into it. So what is it going to be, guys? What is it going to be? What I can guarantee you is it's going to be one of these troops right here inside of this dark barracks. So they are seven troops. Which one is just completely pointless? By the way, guys, don't forget we are giving away 14,000 gems this Friday. So if you want the chance to win 14,000 gems, literally leave a like right now on this episode to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the giveaways and, of course, the videos. And click the link in the description box down below. Click the raffle link and just hit enter and you will be entered into the giveaway, guys. So here we go. Let's get ourselves into the worst feature, the second worst feature. So here it is, here it is, let's just pause it there. What is it going to be? Yep, you guessed correctly, guys. It is those witches, those maxed out witches, whether they're level 1, 2, or even maxed out level 3, just like mine. They have no place in this game anymore. No one uses them, and I think, to be honest with you, they completely suck. Now, obviously, the witches used to be the most powerful troop in the game. There was no questions asked. Before the Valkyries were buffed and they were nerfed, before the bowlers were buffed, the witches were the most powerful troop inside of the game. How strange is it that the best troops have always been dark troops? The witches, the Valkyries, now the bowlers are probably better than the Valkyries, to be honest with you. 
but it's very strange. Supercell just cycles, they literally cycle through the Dark Troops and make one good and then one bad, so it is quite strange. But I must admit, guys, you're about to see why these witches are so damn bad. By the way, we were just kind of messing about with the skeleton spells. I would not advise bringing that many skeleton skele uh, skeleton spells, guys. It really doesn't work. Check out that Larry army, though. It's insane. Check it out. Big Bomb goes off, takes out four or five witches, but there's going to be a second Big Bomb just inside of here, and it's going to take out about ten witches with one giant Big Bomb. Now, as many of you know, guys, the skeletons no longer trigger the trap. So watch this, watch this. I don't know how many witches are there, but they're all gone. They're all just dead. Look at that. It's it's a graveyard of witches. There is no way that they are even like... Who uses them anymore? Does anyone even use the witches? So watch this, guys. This is where, just like the first raid, somehow I managed to clutch the victory here. The Grand Warden is still alive. The Grand Sniper. Those last skeletons are about to die. And the Grand Warden turns back to the Town Hall and secures me that one star. So luckily enough, we had some uh, some real luck inside of these two raids. But this just demonstrates how bad the Witches are and how bad those clone spells are. So those are my two worst features inside of COC right now, guys. The Witches, those maxed out Witches, whether they're level 1, 2, or 3, they just all completely suck. And of course, that clone spell. Now, if it was my choice, if I was to uh, be a Supercell developer... I would reduce the clone spell to two housing spaces, not even three. If you made it three, it still wouldn't be worth it, guys. It needs to be reduced to two because no one uses it. Not even the legendary players have used it. And they're like the best at making these uh, awesome army compositions. And the witches, to be honest with you guys, the witches have two choices. I would either say reduce the uh, the witch actual uh, troop spacing. So uh, instead of, I think, how many spaces do the witches take up? Let's just go in here, guys. The witches take up 12 housing spaces. So I would say reduce it to maybe eight and then or maybe even seven seven or eight or of course bring back a maybe they can trigger maybe the skeletons can trigger a couple of traps maybe they can just trigger the big bombs because the big bombs and witches they just don't go together guys there's no point using the witch if the big bomb's going to take them out so remember, that is just my opinion. Don't forget, guys, if you want the chance to win that 14,000 gems, simply leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the videos that we do on a daily basis, guys. We do Clash Royale and COC videos on this channel every single day. Don't forget to enter the, uh, the raffle in the description box down below. Let me know what are the two worst features inside of this game currently. I will try to reply to as many of you as I can and see what your answers are. So I will see you very shortly for another one. Have a great day. Love you all, guys. We are approaching 550,000 subscribers. So I cannot thank you enough for the constant support. Have a great day. Peace out.